I'm Nadine. I've been video blogging for a short while now, a couple of months, and um, there are some things that I've picked up along the way that are really useful to know. So I wanted to put together a short video blog for you to help you improve your own video blogging. One of the main things that I've realised is camera positioning can be really difficult when you're on your own. At the moment, I'm currently talking to my video camera, which is set up on its own tripod, um, and I've stood it on top of a box on top of my desk in order to get the right height. Otherwise, I'd be talking to you from my boobs. <laughs> um, it's difficult to find the right position, but I've found that a slightly elevated position looking down, just ever so slightly, gives a better camera angle. It means that you can see more of the face um, and less of the upper body, unless that's the position you're going for. Um, but a really good tip that I found quite by accident was to put a mirror behind the camera so that you can actually adjust your video camera position and watch where you're located within the frame in order to get the best shot. At first I was doing a lot of getting up, playing back the video to see where it was and then guessing how I could reposition the camera. So by putting a, vi uh, a mirror behind the camera, you can actually do all of that really quickly and get the right position. The other tip that I would have is um, to not worry too much about errors and blunders. There are many times when I'll do a video blog and I'll start tripping over my words or I'll say, hi, I'm Nadine, and then I'll completely go blank and forget what I was gonna say next. Um, just don't worry too much about getting it right first time. It's usually taking me about two to three takes to get the show right, to get it right first time. So what I do in that instance is I don't turn off the camera and start it again. I literally leave it recording because you can take out all of the ums and ahs and falling over your words. You can take all of that out in the edit. The other thing I would suggest is, especially if you're new to it, um, try and do it when you're on your own because it can be quite um, it can be quite unnerving sometimes having other people watch your video blogging. It's I, with me, I don't mind people watching the actual videos that I produce, that's absolutely fine. But watching me while I'm producing them, it can be a bit off-putting. And you've got on the corner of your eye, you can see people looking at you while you're doing it. And it feels rude to be addressing a camera and not them. That's me anyway. Um, so I find it difficult to actually record video blogs when other people are around. So try and get some alone time to do them. And obviously then it's nice and quiet in your surroundings as well. I'm sure that as I progress I will get bit better with video blogging and I'll probably become less nervous about doing it in front of other people, um, but for right now that's just a useful tip. The last thing that I would say about video blogging is just do it, get stuck in and then watch back your own videos a few times because the sensation almost of seeing yourself on camera and hearing your voice, which is different the, the voice in your own head that you hear is different to how you sound on video and it can be really weird you think well I don't sound like that well actually you do <laughs> so um, just do a few videos and watch yourself a few times to get used to the way you actually come across on camera by doing that I've actually noticed a few things that I do without meaning to that might appear irritating or, or they certainly irritate me um, and I've, I've started to learn from them and I've also started to slow down when I'm talking in my video because my natural speed of delivery is quite fast. I'm one of these 100 miles an hour people talking 10 to the dozen, but it's not very easy to hear on a video. So by just watching yourself, you'll pick up mannerisms and maybe you repeat certain words. Maybe you say like a lot um, or basically a lot or whatever it is. Um, and then you can self-edit yourself so that you don't have to do as much chopping and changing in the final edit. I hope that video blog was useful. I hope it will help you with your own video blogging and um, keep watching jugglemum.com, which is my blog, for regular tips, lifestyle tips for busy mums. Thanks. <laughs>